everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Darren Tam. Excuse me, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. This is part two of Should I Start a Cellar? Notice there's no wine, no glasses. We're just going to recap what I talked about. We're going to clarify a couple of things and we're going to talk about places where you can find wine to age that are not super expensive. I think that's important. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Tracy and Sminky, that's his YouTube, his or her YouTube handle, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. My audience is growing. I love knowing that I'm talking to people and helping them find new wines and understand a little bit more about the wine world. I want to address a comment I got based on my last episode from SC. He said he was a little confused. I had mentioned, I, it seemed like I mentioned or emphasized cooler temperatures for storing wine. He said a lot of his friends uh, store the wine at 55 degrees and it creeps up a little bit in the summer to 62 then goes back down slowly to 55 in the fall and winter. SC, that's perfect cellar temperature is 55 degrees. Now, they do say that's debatable, but pretty much if you read on the internet, it is 55 degrees is agreed that that is a perfect cellar temperature. I mentioned keeping it cool because I want people to know that they can put their wine away somewhere. They don't have to get all fancy, build this really cool cellar and do all this stuff and temperature control route and you don't have to do that. You can put it under your house. If it gets a little cold, it's okay. Wine will age in cooler temperatures and I think that's what I wanted to emphasize. Don't let them go below freezing. I do want to tell a little story on that. Uh, that garage place I told you where I stored wine, one time it did get below freezing and a couple of the corks started to creep out. Well, I took them in the house and I drank them later and they were great. But, you know, it can't happen if it goes below freezing. What I did sometimes there is I put a little heater just to keep it from going below freezing. So I kept that heater going near the wine rack. Um, my point is you can age wine and you don't have to have fancy a fancy cellar. I don't have a fancy cellar. I have an old dark room that I put them in. It keeps them nice and cool, which I like. One thing too about cooler temperatures, if you get around 50 and under, let's say 40 to 50, it slows the aging process down. And SC mentioned that, and I agree with him. It does slow it down. And Jancis Robinson made an interesting point. Sometimes when you uh, uh, age them at a cooler temperature, it develops different and, and more interesting characteristics in the wines themselves. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. She knows a lot about wine. Trust me, she knows a lot. And uh, except about Carignan, she's all wrong about Carignan. So, should you start a cellar? Well, if you approach that, especially you younger ones who are getting into wine, and I mean younger, maybe between, you know, 25 and 40 and you're starting to be interested in wine, and you say, hey, that would be cool to age a couple of wines. Now, when I say cellar, in this context that I'm talking about, I'm not talking about a place where you store wine that you're going to drink over the next couple of years, because that's different. I'm talking about putting away two or three cases of wine, maybe one, two, or three cases of wine, two bottles each, and putting them away for 10 years to see how they develop. It is very fun. It is very interesting, and, and I've done it many, many times, and I've been rewarded immensely with some of these wines that have aged nicely even though they're not super expensive <clears throat> so how do you go about doing that find a trusted wine steward you might have to invest in three bottles one bottle to try two bottles to put away if you want to do more than that that's up to you if you can afford it uh, remember what you're looking for a good balance of acid fruit and tannins you have that and they're in harmony then that wine probably will age. Can't have too much fruit, can't have too much acidity, can't have heavy tannins, all, but you need all those things, but in harmony, and they can't be overwhelming on any of those levels. In other words, it can't have too much acidity, it can't, too, the tannins can't be overwhelming, and the fruit can't be, it can't be a fruit bomb. You will not succeed in, in, in um, aging a fruit bomb. If you don't want to buy that bottle, if you see something in a periodical that says, hey, this wine will age uh, nicely over the next 10 to 15 years, if you want to risk it, buy it and put it away. I'm open 
to helping any of you build a small cellar to age your wines 10, 15 years. Just reach out to me, make a comment, ask me about a wine, I'll do my best to help you. I'm open to that. I've went to people's cellars to go through their wine to see if those wines should be aged any longer or if they should be drunk now. People come to me a lot with those questions and I'm more than willing to help if I can. I've been very successful over the years in, in uh, aging wine. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier I did an episode on can you age inexpensive wines. Got well over a thousand views. People are very interested in that and it was very cool because I tried to think about four uh, Bordeaux that I had put away and they were they developed nicely even though they were I think they were all under twelve dollars or fifteen at least so you can do it and it is fun to see that happen so without a huge investment find a cooler place dark no sunlight can hit it directly they say keep it away from vibration so not, not near any machinery that might vibrate it because that does disturb the wine and under the house is great. I liked it when I owned the house. I just happened to uh, have this place that has a dark room. Works out very well for me. So find that spot. Don't put a lot of money into it. Get some wood boxes if you want or just lay them on the ground. When I did it under the house, I just laid them on a, I put a piece of plastic down on the dirt and I just laid them down. Because you've got to keep that cork wet. If you're going to go, if you're going to go the full 10 years in aging wine. It is really fun. I encourage it. If you have the time and you want to take the effort it's it's not expensive to do it and you will see really cool results and if you don't spend a lot of money on the wine you're not so bummed out if it isn't good be careful though when you start doing this you, it can become addictive and you might want to keep putting wines away and before you know it, you have too much and you can't keep up with it don't go there I had a friend who had a really cool cellar. It was temperature control. He was very, he had the box to do it, but he had kept his wine too long. And I mean, he had cases of wine that were totally gone. And that's sad. <laughs> it's made me sad. He, he shared a few with me over the years and I appreciate that. But it was really sad to see him lose all those wines because he, his cellar was too big to keep up with. Where do you go? to find wines to age. I'll tell you where I go. I like to go to Bordeaux on a good vintage. I like to pick up Bordeaux that are under $30, put them away. I think they will age well. I don't even necessarily have to try them. A lot of times I do, but I just like to tuck them away. I didn't have a huge investment. I have quite a few in the, in the dark room there uh, that I'm waiting to open in the next four to five years. I like to go to Spain. I like to go to Toro. That good wines there that age nicely, as well as Rioja, has some really nice, ageable wines. I like to go to Italy, northern Italy. Uh, you have Barolo, Barbaresco, great wines. Some of them can be expensive, but you can find, I like to find Longue Nebbiolos. They're, they're, they're really inexpensive compared to, let's say, a Barbaresco or Barolo, but they will age nicely if they have the balance that I was talking about. Verona with Amarone. But you can go Valpolicella uh, or uh, what's it, Rapasa wines from there, and they do well in aging. I like to go to Central Italy, and you got Tuscany, and you have uh, Marima. All good areas to find wines that will age very well. Uh, I've picked up some wines from South Africa that I feel will also age well. And we're talking now. When I'm talking about these wines, I'm talking about wines that are under fifty dollars. And I have a ton of them because I, that's what I like to do. That's my, that's my happy place when it comes to wine. It's under 50 bucks. Now, I have invested more and I've had some friends that have given me some really nice wines. Another great wine, and if you haven't gotten into it yet, is Riesling. And Riesling will age nicely. And you don't have to be super expensive with Riesling. In fact, Riesling is really underpriced because people don't understand it. Um, a lot of people think it's always sweet, which it's not. I like, I like Rieslings that express petrol and that sort of thing, and they're, they're off dry, they're not, they're, not, uh, they're not sweet, but they're not super dry, they're right in the middle. Those are excellent wines. In fact, I have I think about four 2017 Rieslings that I'm not even going to think about opening up for another eight years. So Riesling is a good play from Alsace and Germany 
But you can also find some Riesling. I, I found some good Rieslings from Oregon and from Washington that I think will age as well. So there you go. Should you build a cellar? Well, that's up to you. Don't worry about getting fancy. Make sure they have balance. Look for advice in wines you might want to age. And I'm talking not your wines that you're going to open up in the next two, one, over the next two years. I'm talking about 10 to 15 and maybe even 20 years. Thanks for taking a little time out of your day. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget I always have trouble with that one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. You keep watching, and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.